Alright guys, so most of you use that little prototype guy, but I'd figure that it's time, and I'm actually going to leave this in here, that we use something a little bit different. We're going to introduce you mainly to the Mixamo characters and how to bring them into the engine. So first thing we need to do is you can either make um, a third person or a first person. If you make third person, we can easily change it to first person. So we're going to stick with that, and we're, we're going to name this... tutorials and I probably spelt that wrong I'm half asleep right now and we're gonna be going over this real quick so now that we have our project created what we need to do is go to the marketplace and find the Mixamo animation pack we're gonna add this to the project so show all projects and it might just take a second for this new project that we're building to fully render. So, alright, we got our guys. Everything is currently rendering. Here's our prototype character. And, um, well, he's just not something that we normally would want to use and we might want to measure someone up to you know kind of get that effect that we're looking for my project is not here Ooh, design connected seats too that's pretty cool Alright, so another way that we can edit this dude is, we're actually going to verify this to make sure this is still good. What we're going to be doing is we're going to go into the vault. Epic Games has what's called the vault and it's inside the launcher, the vault cache. This is where everything is kept. And we're going to go down and find Mixamo. Right there. We're going to copy the content folder. And we go to Documents, Unreal Engine Tutorials, and we're going to paste it in here. So now that that is doing its thing, for some reason my project's not uh, showing right there, you'll have this. And inside of it you're going to have a game mode. To make it so you can play as one of the mixed mode characters you have to change the game mode or you can keep your current game mode but change the person so right now we're just gonna right here use animation blueprints you know and uh, where is it mesh inherit so we can choose any one of these people. Right now I'm going to choose, well, I always choose Maria. Where's my Maria? Maria. So there's Maria. And you have to choose the corresponding uh, thing right there. And I didn't mean to do that. So this is Maria. Now, we are going to edit Maria, I guess, because um, I like editing her. She's pretty nifty. So this is your main diffuse, your mask, and this is the mat that we're going to be using. So we're going to put procedural generated skin. I'm not sure if it's going to make any real difference or anything. Grab this. We're gonna add this to subsurface color. Okay, and this. I'm just gonna add this to pixel depth. And we're just gonna hit apply, and um, hope it doesn't mess up her face. to give her just a second here because she's compiling 
There, she's got better looking skin now. Okay. Now, there we have it. We're using Maria. Fully mobile. She's got the butt of a goddess. But maybe you want to change her camera angle. So, what you're going to go do is you're going to go into the Mixed Animation Pack folder. Choose Master Character. And you're going to leave that window open. We're going to go to Viewport. And we're just going to bring it up like this. And over like that and hit Compile. And hit play. Now, that will actually only work if we're using that darn blueprint, but actually, the one that we're using is in the third person blueprint. We're using this guy. As you can see, the components are all active. So, instead, we're going to pull our camera up, we're going to pull our camera forward just a little bit more down right about there okay so it's more of a you know behind the head thing now if you want third person uh, first person do that and if you want top view down we do this and we just pull it up as far as it can go. Ah, crap. Just center her again. So, another thing. So there we go. We got top down now. And that is the basics for getting your character set up. Anyway, we're going to put her back down here. So we're going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to pull her forward. See how I always like having her set up like this. Perfect. And just a little to the side right there this is how I like having her now there are benefits to using her main blueprint and I'll show you those real quick so you go into edit select game mode class and select the mix mode game class you're gonna have to hit stop of course Hit play if you dare why it's compiling shaders. This is going to take a second just to kick in. Or I crashed the engine, one of the two. But when you change the blueprint, you have to go in and change the character as well. So you just go into the game mode, which is inside... Um, the main folder with all of the characters in it and you select uh, double click the game mode you just select Maria compile and you're good to go yeah I definitely killed the engine sorry been doing that a lot lately anyway that's it for today's video um, I will record some more right now actually because I'm feeling energized so I want to get a few videos out if you have any questions post them below and I'll answer them if I can thanks for watching guys and thank you because we made it to 4,800 subscribers. Oh, for the love of God, UE4. <laughs> Bye.